Base hit center field. Here comes Ramirez. Here comes the throw to the plate. It's wide. Safe at second. This one is hit well to right. Back toward the track, and that ball is gone. Solo home runs by the number nine hitters on both sides. And we're tied again. That ball is tattooed. Deep right center field, and gone. Jason Kipnis, a solo home run. And the Indians have the lead. Lindor goes deep to right. Back to the track, to the wall. That ball is gone. Andrew Miller has become their utility relief pitcher. Miller to the plate. And he struck him out. Rick Porcello into the wind. Comes to the plate. That ball's well hit into the corner and left. Off the wall. That's going to be a long single. In the air to left field. Benintendi took a step in. Now goes back and makes the play. And look at Perez. He's going to tag. Here's the throw to second. He is in there. Line drive, base hit, center field. Perez, here's the throw. It's late, and Kipnis has knocked in another run. Steve White, three call, one down. Ball gets away. Perez throws him out to complete the strikeout. The 0 2. He strikes out Ben Intendi for out number two. Well, he hasn't gone more than two innings since 2011, but how effective were those? No sign. Did he go? Steve right three. Strike three. Pedroia strikes out to end the game. They ask for help because he rang him up. Nothing to take away from the Indians. What a job they did tonight. On behalf of myself and my teammates right here, we're here for these guys over here. Just like you guys were behind our back through our championship run, we all have to rally together for their championship run tonight for game two. Always believe some Cleveland. It's always us against the world. Against Corey Kluber. Three balls, two strikes. Here it comes. Strike three called. The 0-1. Looper over short. That's going to fall for a base hit. They're going to wave Santana around. They're at the corners, and it's 1 0. That ball is rifled into the corner in right. And it's a fair ball. That's going to score a run, and now it's, a, it's called a home run. The original signal was fair ball. And then the right field umpire, Brian Knight. Two down in the third. And that is a strike three call. Ran it inside. Strike three called. The 0 1. In the left field. That ball's going to get down for a base hit. Here comes Perez to the plate. Here comes the throw. It's cut off. And he is shutting out the Red Sox. Here's Brock Colt. One for two with a single, bangs one to first, kicks off Napoli to Kipnis, throws to Kluber, got him! How, oh, what a play! Just your routine pinball, three, four, one on the out at first. And there is strikeout number seven. They're roaring for Corey Kluber here. His day is over. What a night, nice self. Into a slump, expand the strike zone. Oh, wow! What a play by Napoli. The big guy looking nimble over there.
In the air to center field, Rajay Davis squeezes it. The Indians have shut out the Red Sox. So far out of the right-hander who faces Dustin Pedroia on the ground wide of third. Nice play Ramirez and guns him down. One, two, three inning. Line drive right field base hit. That's going to get the Indians on the board. Chisholm Hall around third. And it's Cleveland 2-0. Two. Drilled to left by Coco Chris. Back toward that wall and gone. Coco Chris haunts his old teammates with a two-run bomb to left. You never know what events are going to transpire when you pick up these veteran players late in the season. The try Andrew Miller in here in the sixth inning. Payoff pitch. He struck him out. And he struck him out. On the ground to second. Kipnis throws him out. One down. 2-2 two, two pitch. Hit to third. And Ramirez made the play and Young alertly. The 0-2. And he struck him out on three pitches. He won this past summer. A bullet to third. Ramirez diving stop. Gets the force at second. What a play. Bradley and Pedroia, the runners. Here it comes. Fly ball. Shallow right. Chisholm Hall. Cleveland wins. And the Indians are headed to the American League Championship Series. They have swept the Boston Red Sox. Dribbler up toward first. The Blue Jays do not score in the first. On the ground to short, Lindor, Kipnis, Napoli, double play. The one two. He struck him out. One down. Struck him out to end the stolen bases, and only Napoli has been stolen in this postseason. That ball was hit well to right center field, and it's out of here. Francisco Lindor has broken the scoreless tie. We're talking about a, a 6 7 left hander who throws 98 miles an hour. Drive to check. Strike three. Struck out Upton. Steve Wright three called. Joey Betts strikes out. Two down in the eighth. Things are now officially beyond bonkers for all hitters. On the ground to Lindor. The guy who hit the dinger throws him out. And the Cleveland Indians, still unbeaten in October. On the ground in the hole, Lindor. What a throw. Did he hold the bag? Yes, he did. One down. Toronto may want the umpire and crew to have another look at this. I would have gotten off the base, caught it, and just tagged Bautista. Carlos Santana. There's some pop to left. That ball is out of here. Carlos Santana with his first home run, his first run batted in of this postseason. And he gives the Indians an early lead. Nice line drive that barely clears the high wall in left field. Line drive, base hit up the middle. And Cleveland's back on top. Look who's on here in the seventh. And he strikes out Russell Martin. Two up, two down. Struck out the side. Good morning, good afternoon, and good night. One down. Carrera on the ground to Kipnis. Untouchable. Cody Allen. He's got to go through Encarnacion, Bautista, and Tulowitzki. Breaking pitch. Steve Wright, three call, one down. 
Seven of the last eight Blue Jays have struck out. To center field, Rajay Davis. Game over. The Indians lead it two games to none. Ball and a strike, and here it comes. In the air to right center field. Bautista going way back. That's off the wall. Santana is around third. He will score, and the Indians are on the board. The set and pitch. Runner goes, pitch hit on the ground, right to the second base bag. Lindor has it, steps, throws, got him! Lindor. Game, game one here, and that ball is well hit by Mike Napoli. See you later. Napoli, a run scoring double, and now a solo home run to lead off the four. Ball is drilled to right field and she is gone. Jason Kipnis breaks the drought and stakes the Indians to the lead again. It's 3 2. Line drive right center field. That ball's going to get down. They're going to wave Napoli. He's on his way to the plate and he scores as Ramirez delivers an RBI single. Based 12 hitters, struck out 10 of them, and make that 11. And he blew him away for the first out. One out away from a 3-0 lead. Back up the middle. Kipnis on the backhand, long throw, and the Cleveland Indians are a win away from the World Series. Well hit, left center field. That ball is off the wall. Perez around first and sliding into second safely and putting the Cleveland Indians on the board. Huge two out. Here's Mike Napoli in the DH bowl today. Well hit to left. Back toward the wall. Herrera goes back, has to play it off the carom, and then has trouble with it. That's going to score a run, and the Indians on the board, 1-0. League career, 684 in a third innings pitch, only 108 walks. And he gets Encarnacion. That's a second strikeout, both looking, waiting, and there is another strike. Top of the order, Carlos Santana. Well hit, right field. Way back and gone. Carlos Santana. Homer in game two. Homer's in game five. Indians 2 0. He looked up to the sky like finally a big hit. In the air, right field. Pretty well hit. Bautista back and that ball is gone. Coco Crisp. With a two out solo homer. Here in the fourth, and it is 3-0 Cleveland. Oh, grounded to short, could be two. There's one, double play. High fly ball left field. Chris Amon back on the track to put it away. Here's Pilar who grounds into the hole. Lindor gets the force at second. Two strikes, here it comes. In the air, foul territory. The Cleveland Indians are going to the World Series. <laughs> Two number one starters going at it tonight. All right. Got it one way. All right. Winner stuck it out. Here's the 0 1. Tough play. in the first pitch. That will force home another. Two nothing Indians. Struck him out. Low way. Got him right down the middle. Got him looking. Here it comes. Got him looking. Struck him out. Roberto Perez, 3-0 Cleveland on top.
The quote unquote light hitting catcher has his second home run of the postseason. That ball was scorched. And all it has to do is get over that yellow line and left. Opportunity is knocking for the Cubs. This ball is caught. The 0 2. Stuck him out to that. He tied it up. Went around, stuck him out. Inning over. Schwarber doubled off the wall in the fourth, walked against Andrew Miller in the seventh. Miller wins the battle. Closer Cody Allen into the game. And he does. What a way. Struck him out, two down. The 2 2. Indians win game one. Kluber the winner, three and one this postseason. Lester the loser, two and one. A strikeout starts the frame. That's two out. Strikes out the side here in the sixth inning. So Chris will come off the bench and pinch it. First and third. Chris. That's into right. It's a base hit. Martinez will come to the plate and score. Throw to third in time. Two out. In a one to nothing game. Indians on top. The 0 2. Right side. Diving stop. Napoli to the bag. What a play. Strikes out at a pitch that was up. High drive into right. Back at the wall. This game is tied. Santana. His first World Series hit. And his third home run of this postseason. 1 1. Typically. Chops at third base side. Bryant. Third safe. Now the count's full. Landor shoots one into right center field, a base hit. Fowler over to cut it off. In to score is Kipnis. It's three to one. Three of the night is right down the middle. Struck him out. Struck him out. And Kluber comes up with strikeout number three. A strikeout ends the inning. Strike him out. Chasing a breaking ball down and out of the strike zone. That's strikeout number six. Not hard hit. Play is made by the third baseman Ramirez. And another strong effort by Corey Clues. A 3 1. High drive into right back at the wall. It is gone. Kipnis, a three run shot. And he busted open here in the seventh inning. From Northbrook, Illinois. And around the bases here at Wrigley Field, he's made it 7 to 1. 1 2. Back to Otero, and the Indians are now up. Three games to one. And one win away from their first world championship since 1948. The 0 1. And hits one a ton. Second. When he asked Terry Francona about Jose Ramirez, he says he's just made himself a great hitter. That's into left field, and Davis is on with one out in the sixth. There he goes. No throw. Stolen base, Davis. That's into center. This ball is down. That's a base hit, and it's a one run game. In the score is Davis. It's 3-2. Lindor delivers with two out. Kipnis hits it deep in the left at the wall. Kipnis, goodbye. 7-2. 
Arietta fell behind in the count and paid the price. You know, we used to have back in the day a fine if you got two outs and you went 3-0. There's the home run celebration. A Santana to pull. He does tie game. Fowler at first. Schwarber. Grounds one to short, might be two. Lindor flips out over to first. Got it. Double play. And with one swing of the bat, Francisco Lindor can make this a two-run game. Lindor bounces in. It hits Ross. A run scores. Here comes Kipnis. He's safe. It's 5-3. Here's David Ross, John, that's had a tough time with concussions. That ball caught him square. And by the time he fell down, got up. Kipnis with great base running is ahead of the tag. Runner will go. Line drive into right center field. That ball's down. Take it around third, Ramirez. He will score on an RBI double by Brandon Geyer. It's 6-4. That's the first home run allowed by our oldest Chapman since June 18th, and it comes with two outs in the bottom of the eighth of game seven. That's into the shortstop spot. Lindor, what a play! 